Okay, so today's gonna be a tutorial on just basic control keyframing. And so control keyframing is pretty much everything that isn't movement, like regular keyframing would be let's say you wanna keyframe this thing here, then you wanna move it or oops like let's move up. Then you wanna move it up here and then you keyframe. See, that'll keyframe to move, but that's pretty much the basic concept of just regular hit the keyframe or automatic keyframing. Control keyframing is like animating or colors. So let's say, yeah, let's just do a basic thing with this cube. Fillet, or fillet, whatever you want to call it. Let's say you want to have, have it at zero, and you want to try keyframing it. You go up here. You up this to 100 and you keyframe. When you go to play it, it's not going to do anything. Because what you have to do is just do control keyframing, which is pretty much just like every everything else except movement. So you want to go to where you want it to start. Then you want to hold control. Click right there. And then go to wherever I'm just going to go to 90 up to 100 control hit right there then what that's gonna do is it's gonna keyframe the animation of it just morphing into pretty much just morphing into a circle and you can do the same thing for colors so let's see here colors it's a you can get kinda complicated but let me see let's just say for now Let's just keyframe the color, I guess. Let's go, and then I already keyframed it since I held control and clicked it. Now let's take this down, take this down, let's keyframe it to red up here. And I think that that should keyframe it, actually. I might have messed up here, I'm kind of bad with colors when it comes to control keyframing. Let me see. Yeah, well, you guys get the idea. Pretty much you just need to... Pretty much control keyframing is everything except camera movements. So, if you want to use soft bodies or if you have R12 soft bodies, you need kill control keyframing. Um, modeling, if you want to model a part extruding from it. Like, if you want to have that keyframe you need to do control keyframes and alls all this keyframing does is just move it around keyframe keyframe this that's all it does control keyframing is this camera key for other keyframing is just that so that's pretty much just the difference between Control keyframing and regular keyframing.